All right, good morning to you. It's Daybreak at iFiber One News Radio. Fridays at this time, happy to talk with the good doctor, Dr. Alex Apostle from the Shelton School District. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jeff. Good to see you as always. Thank you. Big Likewise. gathering last night, community uh, forum involvement out there. Yeah, talking about the we had a, I, I would say, a very positive, productive meeting. Uh, we discussed uh, the new recess program that's being implemented at Bordeaux, clarified some issues on, on that subject, talk about uh, social media and the fact that we need to develop a policy and procedures that protects the district, supports our students uh, and, and parents and coaches. And we're working with our attorney to come up with a, with a policy and procedure that does just that. Is so. there anything on the books now? Or I was talking with uh, Dan Cooling yesterday, who's now on the school board. He's uh, running f to fulfill and continue on the position that he has in the interim spot. And we were talking a little bit about this social media thing. Because I've seen it on, on Facebook. Obviously, people were uh, asking questions about sure. the different clubs posting things. And that's kind of the background on this. Well, you know, uh, social media is kind of a universal issue. Uh, very few districts, school districts, have policies and procedures that are all encompassing. And we're researching uh, best practices and, again, working with our attorney to do the very best that we can to initiate a policy. The board uh, is the one that uh, ultimately adopts policy and will be working closely with the board as we move forward. But the, the real issue is to make sure that uh, we're legal sure. and, uh, and we're protecting our students and our parents and our staff and, and the school district from any potential liability. So uh, it, it's, new, it's a new frontier, really. And uh, in the corporate sector, they're, they're dealing with this along with the, the public schools. So yeah. uh, this is rather new territory. And so we're moving ahead very cautiously and methodically uh, to establish a, a policy that uh, is supportive of everyone. Was the conversations by the attendees there last night uh, in support of continuing to offer the information on social media, but with uh, with some sort of guidelines? Or? I thought I thought some of the comments were were very uh, positive and productive and supportive of the direction I've just mentioned. Uh, but uh, we, we had a, a good conversation on, on the issue of social media. I, w I was very pleased. What else has been going on last night? Well, uh, last night in terms of the community yeah, forum? the forum. Well, we gave a report uh, on the uh, pro uh, progress of the bond. Yeah. And uh, we discussed the various committees, the transition committees that we put into place uh, and gave kind of a report on that. Uh, we talked about the fact that we have a K-12 instructional review committee and they're busy doing their work. All of this is, is thrusting into the opening of school in the fall of 2019. And right now the bond is moving uh, ahead uh, very favorably. Uh, we're very fortunate that things are going well. Uh, and of course, our, uh, the review of the instructional program, which is critical to, to any great school district, uh, that's moving ahead too. So I, I'm very pleased with that. You never really know how the school year will kick off until you get about a week and a half in. <laughs> and how have things been going so far? Things have been going great. Uh, our enrollment is above uh, our projections. We've got about 160 students above our projection. Wow. Uh, our kindergarten classes are, are full. Uh, and it's a it's a concern that that I have and others have about the the numbers, and so uh, we want to hold tight on the budget because we don't know what's going to happen with the legislature next year. So we're we're real uh, careful in terms of what we do from this point. We've done a lot in the last two years supporting the schools and and classrooms, but this year we have to be very cautious. Mm -hmm. Although we're very concerned about the numbers in kindergarten, and that you know that's that's something we should be happy about because we have a lot of kids. Yeah. But at the same time, we need to support our staff and our students uh, as it relates to kind of class overloads. And it's something we're, we're really taking a good, hard look at. Um, 
and we'll continue to do that. Those teachers work very hard in kindergarten, and there are a lot of kids. Uh, I, I mean, even just five is a lot of kids sometimes well, at that age. And you know, they, they do a tremendous job, and we're going to do everything we can to really think through what we can do. Things are tight, but at the same time, you're right, Jeff. Uh, kindergarten, that's, that's the start of everything. A very important uh, level of education takes place there, and our teachers, uh, they work very hard. They sure do. No, no doubt about it. And so uh, I'm planning to reach out to the kindergarten teachers and possibly have a meeting to discuss the situation to make sure that uh, they know that we're going to do everything we can to help them. Okay, very good. Well, we'll continue to uh, check in on that as we move forward. Uh, big game tonight as uh, Shelton heads up to uh, Gig Harbor, Roy Anderson Field there to take on Peninsula. A good match there, and then a rare Thursday night game next week. So right. some uh, good football yeah. on the road for the high Very climbers. competitive league. We're young, uh, but we give it everything we have, yeah. no doubt. It was uh, good to see them on the field uh, last week and continue on through the rest of the season. Well, Doc, I'll let you head off and have a good Friday, and we'll talk again next yeah. week. How's Thank that you, sound? sir. Good to have see you. Have a good weekend.